Greetings everyone. I am bringing you into my bedroom today because there's literally no other place that I can bring you with a background um, that's not just like pure construction. So this is my wardrobe. There will be a door on there eventually, but this is what we're working with. And this is my bed. And I know lots of people are gonna ask me where I got my bed. It's from Anthropology. Right, so today I thought we would do an empties video, which I have not done for such a long time. And I used to love doing them and I've been collecting all of my empties. So I thought I would just kind of go through them. Um, let me know if you guys want to keep seeing empties videos because it is like a weirdly satisfying video um, to make because I'm like, oh, look at all these products I used up. Anyway, let's kick things off with bath products. So firstly, I used up one of the West Lab Himalayan salts. I always love to put salts in my bath and I've probably actually used up about 10 of these. Um, I just always forget to keep them, but I did keep this one to show you. Um, so yeah, I use their Himalayan salts a lot. I also use their magnesium flakes, their Epsom salts. So yeah, I really love this brand. If you're interested in some bath products, I highly recommend. And then I also have this bath product in here, which by the way, guys, check out this basket with all my empties. I just got to the point where it was filled up. I was like, okay, this afternoon is the day. Um, so yes, I used up a Suzanne Kaufman St. John's Wart bath, and this is a calming product. And it looks like this, if it's gone, this is like an old school video. Yeah, it looks like this, and it comes with like a light pink powder, and you just put a little bit of the powder into your bath, and it is lovely. I adore Suzanne Kaufman products, and it really, really is. Calming. It says to put five to seven teaspoons, but I usually just sprinkle it in the tub. Um, what other products? I used up a body wash. This is from a cool brand called Necessaire. And it's a really awesome brand. I love the packaging. Um, this is a eucalyptus scented body wash. I've got the non-fragranced one in my shower. And I have also used their um, sandalwood um, body wash, but I used that up and forgot to keep it for this video. But yes, I love this brand. It's super cool, super cute, and um, they have lots of great products. I use their body um, moisturizer a lot as well. So finished that. I finished two body creams. So the first one is by this brand, Biotherm. And I think with body creams, I'm just so obsessed with regular like standard body creams i kind of don't want anything crazy i don't want anything super super scented because i hate when it kind of clashes with my um perfume and stuff so this was really great it's a body milk and i feel like i'm kind of getting more into milks i don't know if you guys remember like back 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 in the day but i used to love body butters that used to be like my thing i was like body butter or bust um but yeah i'm all about the body milks these days and I also finished up an Oskia Renaissance Hand and Body Cream. I didn't use this as a hand cream. I used this just as a body cream. Um, but this was a great one to travel with because I don't like traveling with body lotions with a pump like this because, like, exactly. It just comes out. I mean, who knows? There was, like, a little bit left in there. Um, oh, it smells so good. It smells so, like, almost like lemony. I kind of forgot how good that smelled. What is that scent? It's like orangey or something. Yeah, natural citrus fragrances in that biotherm one. Um, I loved traveling with this Oskia one because it doesn't like squirt out of the packaging into your suitcase and stuff. And again, it's just a nice lightweight moisturizer, but it's really nourishing. And I love basically everything from Oskia, so big fangirl there. I just ran to my shower and got this. I forgot that I finished this up this morning. This is the Orbe body wash. And if you guys like the scent of the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray, which is so lovely, like it smells so good, this is the body, lo body wash version of that. And they do a body butter and they do a candle in the same scent. So I just wanted to mention this product because I know that like once you get hooked on that scent, you are hooked on that scent. And this was just like a joy to use in the shower. Your whole shower smells like Orbe, it's lovely. So I finished that too. Um, 
We will, I have a couple of hair things. Oh no, look, I have a hand salve. This is the Kiehl's hand salve, and I'm pretty sure this comes in a few different scents. Um, this is the ultimate strength hand salve. This is, and I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say it, my favorite hand cream of all eternity. I need another one of these, but I have other ones that I need to use up, but this is like my favorite hand cream of all time. I let my brother use some, he loved it. My dad loved it, my mom loved it. Like my whole family was like, this is a really nice hand cream. I'm like, I know. Um, and it also comes in a big tube of it as well. But I just finished this 75 milliliter guy and it's such a good hand cream. It's, it's really good because it's not super thick and it's not greasy, but it gives your hands that kind of moisture that you need. Like if you are like a, I mean, construction worker or something like that, you'll love it. If you're like a dude who has like really rough hands, you will love this. And if you're a girl like me who just types all day and likes to have soft hands, you'll like it too. Um, <laughs> weird thing I just said there. Um, okay, hair things. I finished this L'Oreal L-I-S-S Liss Unlimited. This is a mask, this was a hair mask, and I love this mask. I've actually been using this mask for years. They renamed it. I can't remember what the original name was, but you'll remember that I used this for years and years and years. If you go back to my old empties, I'm sure I've finished loads of these, so it's just a great hair mask, especially, you know, with my blonde hair, I'm always trying to mask. Um, and then I also wanted to mention this. This is the Redken PH Bonder. So when I get my hair colored and bleached and stuff, when I'm getting it bleached, Harriet, who does my hair, sorry, there's window cleaners outside. I'm not joking. And there's ropes flying everywhere. It's crazy. Um, like you probably saw my, if you saw my Instagram story, um, like I'm literally just walking around one day in my apartment and I look outside and there's window cleaners and they just, there's no notice given. I mean, I knew window cleaners were coming, but it said they were coming last week and they didn't. And then this week they just rocked up and I was like, hey there. <laughs> anyway, Harriet, when she colors my hair, she mixes pH bonder in with the bleach to help, you know, reduce breakage and stuff like that. I think it's actually uh, less expensive than Olaplex and it is incredible. It's to be used once a week before shampoo, put it on wet towel dried hair uh, and leave it on for at least 10 minutes. So that's what I do and I try to do this once a week and I've already repurchased this because I love it so much and I think it's amazing at, you know, not only fixing damaged hair but preventing more damage. And then the last few things I have are skincare related. Um, I finished up this serum. This is the Caudalie Vino Source Serum, SOS Thirst Quenching Serum. Again, another product that I have used for years and years and years that I will use for years to come. And I just think it's the most amazing serum because it really hydrates the skin. It's not heavy. It just gets in there, does the job, and leaves no grease behind, which is awesome. So this is a great one to use in the morning. And then I also finished up a day cream. Well, I actually was using this day and night. As you can see, I really tried to squeeze every last drop out of there. Where's the tube ringer when you need it? Throwback. I actually have no idea where my tube ringer went and I should really get another one. Um, but you'll probably recognize this. It is the Ombriolis Cream Concentre. <laughs> um, and I originally bought this back in the day because Pixie Woo sisters were obsessed with it and used it in all their makeup tutorials. And I loved it. And then I just kind of forgot about it, forgot it existed and bought this with me, bought this when I went to France once. Cause I was like, oh yeah, that was a good product. And I remembered how much I loved it. I don't know what's so good about it, except it's just like your average moisturizer that doesn't, leave like a gross finish on your face. It's great under makeup, but it also leaves your skin looking quite glowy. Um, and it's just awesome. And I already have a backup of this too, because I love it so much. Um, uh, I need a sip of tea before my, before I can't stop. I can't even think straight. Hmm. I also finished a Garnier micellar water. This was actually the milky micellar water. 
and I really liked it. I I think I actually kind of like it more than the original. I've gone back to the original because I had another one in my stash. Um, but I like the milky one because I think it's more hydrating. You can see like a little bit left in the bottom there, if it's going to focus on it. Um, so yeah, it's just a milkier consistency. Again, it just removes your makeup. You guys know the drill with micellar water. Use that up. And then I also used up a rose hydrating eye cream from Fresh. Just to show you, there is nothing left in there. Um, I love this eye cream as well. It's lightweight but nourishing and that seems to be a theme with me lately because when I've been doing my skincare, I'm using more products but thinner products. So I'm really layering like the essences, the serums, the moisturizers, oils, eye creams. I'm really layering them, but I'm just making sure that they're not too thick, you know? So I was loving that. And then I also finished up my favorite rose oil. This is the MV Organic Rose Plus Booster. This is a little dusty because it's been sitting there for a while, but um, you can get this on Cult Beauty. Another product I've been using for years and years. It's just, to me, the best rose oil you can buy. It's maybe more of an expensive rose oil, but I really feel like it's different than some of the other ones. First of all, it's not dark orange like a lot of them, and I hate rose oils that are so dark like that because they stain my pillowcases. Um, and I just like that one because it's not super heavy, but for some reason my skin just loves it and it always clears up everything on my skin. Like when I get off a flight, I'm like rose oil. After like I'm doing face masks, I'm like rose oil. I use it every single night. I love, I love that oil. Okay, well guys, I think that's pretty much it for my empties video. And um, yeah, like I said, let me know if you want me to keep saving my empties and do another empties video in the future because like I said, it's kind of fun to look back on and be like, yeah, I did really like using that or mm, maybe wouldn't repurchase that. But actually I've been kind of going through products that I've been loving and I've just been really using products that I loved lately. I haven't really been using things that I don't like because I don't really have time for that. I'm like, if I don't like using a product, I'm not gonna finish it up, which I think is so good about an empties because it really shows the products that you really like to use up. Oh, I don't have, where did I put that? I also finished up two makeup products. Hang on, let me go grab these. Okay, I forgot to add these into my basket, but I finished up the YSL Couture Brow. This is my favorite eyebrow gel. Um, it's just super dry now and there's like really no product left on it anymore. So I got a replacement and I love it. It's the only eyebrow product I use. So I finished that up and then I also finished up a Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. There's actually some left in here. I don't want you to look too closely at that because there's so many brush hairs and stuff in there. But I have had this for years and it was time to retire it and I've already got a replacement for it because I can't live without this product. I get questions on my Instagram like, is this bronzer really as good as like you make it seem? I'm like, yes, it's like my favorite, favorite pro like bronzer of all time. It's creamy, it's not too dark on my skin and it's like glowy, it's amazing. And I've also probably finished like mascaras and stuff but haven't really been keeping track of that. Um, so yeah. That is my empties video, guys. I hope you loved it, and I hope you've been enjoying some of the vlogs I've been doing lately, and I can't wait to do a wardrobe tour once my wardrobe is finally complete and I get all my clothes back in there. Um, there's a horn, city living. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm gonna wrap it up. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.